Well, Wally here. Guys, I can't put this one off any longer. This is something that has me nervous. It has me nervous. Stay tuned. So, what has prompted this? Well, the muffler bolts are stripped on my 365 on the Frank and saw. Now, I did not want to do this job. I thought, no, this is a wee bit outside of my comfort zone and definitely a wee bit out of my skill set. Uh, and I took it in to get fixed. I took it in to get fixed and your man in the shop said, oh, we don't, we don't fit heli coils. Well, all we will do is we will replace your engine. And I went, what? How, how much does that cost? And he went, hang on, I'll check. So we had a wee look online and he came back and he says, that's gonna cost you 350 pound. <laughs> that, is, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Okay, so. Guys, this saw only cost me £300 six years ago. Like, what? What? So, this is what I am going to do, guys. I am going to helicoil these treads, and I am going to fix this myself. And I am going to take my time, and this could be a long video, and I am a little bit uncomfortable doing this. <laughs> and, guys, strangely enough, uh, one of Tasman's videos popped up, and I says... Hang on a second, and it was exactly this. And just Tasman, Tasman, you made it look so simple and straightforward. I says, right, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So I have some tapping fluid. I have some tread lock, Indiana Doug. Thanks for that recommendation. I have a new muffler and I have a tapping kit. Let's get it done. And I have rising anxiety. <laughs> I'm just covering over the, the, the port here, guys. When I had a look up in there, there does seem to be a little bit of scoring. I, no, look, do you know what? I'm not really sure what I'm looking at, to tell you the truth. I wonder, did, did I get a decent picture? Could we see it? No, that is definitely not it. Will it even focus on that? Did you see that? I don't know, it's hard to tell. I'll post a picture in the in the in, in the, the community section on the page, guys. Right. I'm gonna try my best to get you involved in this guys, but it's very difficult because it's it's pissing rain outside, so I can't move the camera much. Okay, so this is my kit. Okay. So it is 0.8 metric. Okay. This is my kit. It comes with with the it comes with the drill bit. It comes with the, with the tap. Uh, it doesn't come with any of the fancy stuff, the stoppers or anything like that. So I'm gonna use a bit of tape to show me when to stop. As far as I'm aware, guys, I just need to drill it out about the same depth as the bolt, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a bit of tape on it here, or I'll mark it like so. Now all I have to do is drill it. <laughs> low and slow, guys, low and slow. So, this is it. Uh, okay, so what the guy said to do was to just sort of let it follow its own path. seem to take a lot out of it now. Jesus guys I hope this works and I don't and I don't make a balls of me saw. What I need to do is I need to find something some way to twist this. No. First of all 
I need some of this. This is CT90. Foaming, cutting and tapping fluid. Ah no, I just googled it. Tapping fluid. So I have nothing to fit that square head. Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing will fit. Everything is for hex head. Absolutely everything. That is madness. I, ne I never thought about that before. Okay, so this is what I'm resorting to, guys. I can actually get more pressure on it with a pair of pliers than I can with anything else. So let's give this a shot. One for luck. It's quite easy, guys. As in, there's not a lot of resistance. Should I be worried about that? Am I using the wrong size? Only time will tell. I did take something off. it's definitely doing something there's definitely bits of steel yeah. let's try these heli coils right I'm gonna try a bolt in it now and see if it works guys this is the proof squeaky bloody bomb time squeaky bloody bomb Squeaky bum means that you're you're uh, you're you're clenching, guys. You've a little bit of fear. A little bit of fear is good. Not if you're making the balls of everything, but let's see. can't take it back out so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to put the other one in and I'm going to pop the pins off and I'm actually shit how do I do this I don't know I'll figure this out right let's do this okay so this is what I have. I have muffler, gasket, heat plate. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I am going to make sure the camera is recording first, and I'm going to drop these screws, these bolts down. This is the hard part, guys. This is the awkward part. So everything's tricky, right? So I'm just going to put a little drop on. <gasps> Sugar. That's a wee bit more than I intended. Okay. Let's push these bad boys in and see if we can get this seated. Shit. Excuse my French. So this is what happens, guys. This is this is what happens. Everything just keeps falling. Right. You just mightn't be able to see a lot of this. This this is awkward enough. There's one in. 
Oh sweet mama Jesus, that feels great. Now this is the one that was a wee bit tighter, so I feel like there's a bit of a gap there. Not on that side, but definitely on this side. Maybe I didn't push the heli coil in as far on one side as I did on the other. It's still tightening. My last exhaust was ported. This is just a regular exhaust case. Right, I'm going to put it back together. I'm going to fire it up. How to make putting on a chainsaw bar and chain look awkward? Get Wally to do it. <laughs> You ready? That is the first trouble it has ever given me. And people ask why I think this is, is such a good saw. No. Fingers crossed, guys. Please, baby Jesus. Front row seats at a Leonard Skinner concert. Let's get this done. I'm going to go outside and stand in the rain and do this just so that I can turn you around so you can see. So, I'm assuming I have fuel. Assume nothing, Wally. Assume nothing. No, I have no fuel. <laughs> no, it doesn't sound right. I can hear air. Am I hearing air or am I is it just a new exhaust? Listen, let's have a look. There's no, there's no exhaust smoke coming from, from anywhere else, so I'm going to take that as a success. Yes! Oh, Jesus Christ of Almighty. Right. That worked, guys. Jesus. Thank you, Indiana Doug, for your help. As always, the man I can just pick up the phone. Doug, I don't know what to do. <laughs> guys, it's done. I can get out of the rain and uh, uh, I can move on and I can finally start cutting stuff again. Phew. Brilliant, brilliant. Two saws down-ish, one to go. Thanks for watching, stay frosty.